tree, asked the tree to shelter me. She wrapped me up in an ancient green, ancient green. I lay under a tall oak tree, asked the tree to shelter me. She wrapped me up in an ancient green, ancient green. So, Sarah, um, it's yours. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, so, the, uh, what I'm going to talk about is something that evolved very organically, was not planned by me or anyone. But the two groups that I was uh, assigned to by Jonathan to early on uh, in April, May, um, offer a listening hour for because they were interested in becoming guides uh, ended up we ended up continuing to meet so we're still meeting currently we're in the beginning it was every few um, you know we met once and then we met two weeks later and then it, now it's become about once a month and so there's two different groups um, they're both intimate about five people and we span the globe so we have people um, from Japan. Um, actually, Mori, who's just been talked about, I don't think she would mind me saying she's one of um, the people in the group. And then we have people in Russia, in Austria, Chile, Germany, Australia, and all over the United States in all the different regions and the, on the West Coast and Southwest and um, East Coast. So we've been meeting and uh, what uh, I'm struck by also listening to to all of you in terms of the narrative reticulation because of the ongoing nature of gathering and listening to each other's stories that narrative reticulation just continues to deepen because we've been hearing each other's stories during the pandemic over time so sometimes somebody will tell a sequel to a story uh, one example uh, someone um, shared about having a a, a caterpillar and, and sort of rescuing a caterpillar from the garden from eating the vegetables in the garden and then over time the caterpillar ended up becoming a butterfly and flying away so there was a, a sense of you know connecting um you know curiosity over time um people shared uh as, as in playback theater, people shared on all these different levels. So it, I work in a women's leadership center and in our curriculum, we talk about personal, relational and global. So uh, people, you know, the stories were uh, from the internal experience of going through the pandemic over time. And there's really, I think for, for me and for many of us, so many shifting moods as we go through all of this as well as all of the climate issues and social issues. Um, so the internal part, the relational part, the, the relationships with our families, with our workplace, uh, with the community, um, and then the social issues or the global and systemic issues. So again, because we're a global group coming together from all different continents and time zones, we're hearing about social issues around economics, immigration, Black Lives Matter, um, from all these different regions and how they intersect or are different in different areas. Um, so it's been really rich. Um, we're, we're doing this in English, although it's not everyone's, um, you know, native language. Um, so I appreciate people, you know, stretching themselves to, um, to do that. And I think um, one of, two other things I want to say, um, which is, um, as playback theater is uh, very conducive to the language of story, obviously, the, the, the language of metaphors, the language of imagery, and we invite an image in the first round, uh, I feel like those images, at, you know, have been guides to me, certainly to me as a guide, um, in my life, I mean, not just within the listening hour, but in my life over these months. Um, and I think to the people in the group as well, that there's, there's a depth uh, of connection 
through this language of images and um, themes that, that just continue to weave together. Um, and another thing I wanted to mention that's been, that struck me also in my role as guide as compared to playback theater, which is about the rhythm of the listening hour. It feels entirely different to me uh, than in playback theater. And for me personally, I, I really appreciate that slower rhythm and the pauses between the stories. It allows me to enter into a deeper level of presence in my own self, um, which is certainly helpful especially in light of doing a reprise at the end. And, you know, I could say more about the, the specifics, but I've, I've certainly varied that since this is an ongoing group. So, so, you know, sometimes we'll have, everyone will bring in, we'll sort of do a, a almost like a chorus, a collective reprise. Um, we've done it different ways at different times. Um, and certainly I, yeah, everybody is collectively holding the themes and the narrative reticulation of our ongoing group. Um, and finally, I, um, I want to make a little pitch because I have um, a group next Wednesday and uh, we actually have space for a few more people to join. So if anyone is interested, um, I can put the details in the chat and you can contact me at another time. Um, but I guess most importantly, I just want to um, say gratitude, Jonathan, to you for creating this, for pivoting so quickly into the pandemic and creating this space, uh, because for me, it's been so enriching. And sometimes it's, a, you know, scheduling and, you know, people, not everyone can make it. And I, and I feel like, oh, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit of a struggle to get people back together. And I think, is, shall we keep going? Shall I offer it again? And then we do it. And afterwards, I feel so full, like I've eaten the most rich and delicious meal um, that I always say, let's do it again. And they say, yes, let's do it again. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much. And uh, I know um, some others of you here have been doing ongoing listening hours. And it just felt important to me um, that we hear and consider the impact of ongoing listening hours and how it compares to a listening hour that's just a one shot or one time. I lay under a tall oak tree, asked the tree to shelter me. She wrapped me up in an ancient green, ancient green. I lay under a tall oak tree, asked the tree to shelter me. She wrapped me up in an ancient green, ancient green. All my tears, all my tears, all my tears, rivers gonna wash away. tree to shelter me. She wrapped me up in an ancient green, ancient green. I lay under a tall oak tree, asked the tree to shelter me.